everyone welcome back to my another tutorial and uh, in tutorial in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to make this red to style uh, radio from 90s uh, I don't know from which year this radio is so I just found it on uh, Pinterest while looking for an inspiration and uh, this is what I came uh, got so this is uh, right now in EV I can also show you in cycles how it looks so this is how it looks in cycles render and in today's video we're gonna learn how to make this okay so with that being said uh, let me just open a new file new general oh, don't see and uh, we can do also one thing let me just open up my reference image so we can know what we are doing and what we have to make Okay, so in this we're just going to add a image editor and uh, let me just open my screencast real quick so you can see what I'm pressing and uh, let me just try and drop this image here so we can know what oh, we're working with. Okay, so let me just tell you like uh, this is a basic shape uh, which is like a rectangle so right now we have our cube so we're going to use the same we can delete uh, the camera and the light for now and keep the cube so uh, we're gonna just bring it up and let me just scale it on x-axis just like this and for the y-axis i would say that uh, this would work because uh, right now we are not seeing uh, making this on a live scale model real life scale so we can work something with something like that so let me just quickly apply the scale and after that we can apply the modifiers so we can start applying a modifier we can apply a bevel modifier and uh, let me just increase it a bit and we can work with something like this this much will work let me just hit auto shade smooth in the shading tab you have to press hard in normals and it will look something like this we can just keep it something like this cool okay so we're going to start working on this intersection which is really basic so all you have to do is select your cube tab to go into edit mode press 3 to go in face select mode and uh, now you have to press i to insert something like this and then again press e to extrude the edges and we're gonna keep it something like here okay so we can start working on our next part which is uh, this detail if you can see right here this uh, and the style part so for that I'm gonna do one thing that I'm gonna again go to the first select mode press shift s and uh, cursor to select it then I'm gonna add a circle so rx 90 something around here let me just scale it down something like this and uh, let me press if you're going to shift uh, and click any axis like Y then it uh, will you can move that object except the axis Y so I want it something around here no a bit up if you can see this and this so you can keep it somewhere here like this tab into edit mode F to select I have to fill select all vertices then hit fill and uh, I'm gonna just press I to insert the faces then E to extrude inwards and uh, meanwhile we can do also one thing that uh, we can select this E to extrude a bit here so we can have something like this and uh, we can just remove this edge here like this or we can also do one thing that is like this precharge loops so it looks something like this and uh, 
or we can just skip it it's just not gonna either way you're not gonna look it from the behind so it should look fine and uh, it's looking something like this right now so we're gonna do one thing that we're gonna select this add another modifier which is boolean and we're going to select this let me just shade flat something like this and I'm going to apply this modifier so if I go to check it it's gonna look something like this okay so that being said tab into edit mode select this and uh, we can delete this for now okay and uh, we can also delete this select either way we're not not gonna need it so it looks good and we're going to start working on the dial part this one and this let me just shade smooth I'm gonna hit generate bevel to put a bevel modifier scale to my pick code and something around here shading I don't know this around here and we're going to add another modifier which is subdivision surface to make it look smoother now oh, step two so it's a bit smoother now now we're going to make this so for that oh, it's really simple just oh, tab into edit mode select this face shift D right click B to separate by selection so we will have it something like this let me just bring it further around here and uh, just make another copy P selection and we can just scale it down around here yeah, that would look good I can do it like that okay so that's what it is to check the position of it somewhere around here So just gonna work as this style uh, on the need to model this. Uh, so for that, drag this, I to insert, then E to extrude. We're just using the simple geometry here, simple modeling, and you can just hit I again to make it flat, like this. And for making these grooves, we can do one thing that we can just simply duplicate this. Shift D to duplicate it, P to uh, make another one, and we're going to hit subdivide. And now I'm going to just control X to dissolve these vertices, hit go to face select mode, select all of this, then I to extrude, hit again I, and we will have something like this. Now Alt E to extrude along faces and extrude it. It's that simple congratulations you have made the style and uh, now we need this uh, the needle to point on the numbers or the FM, uh, FM channels so uh, it's also simple I'm gonna do one thing that I'm gonna select this select this face shift as cursor to select it so it should be there now I'm gonna add a plane RX90 and let me just scale it press one to go front view mode as X or like this okay as that to scale it along this axis let me just make it a bit tab control R control R to as that round here and we're going to select these two as X and we're going to scale it like 
this a e to extrude shade smooth we can also apply a bevel modifier then it will look something like this and now I'm going to just rotate on the y-axis for around like 30 or y minus 35 would be good okay so have we done with this part now we're going to make this these knobs so for that I'm going to just like this face shift dash because it is selected so it should be right here now I'm going to add another circle circle rx90 like this and let me just scale it down so Q shift Y to lock it on Y position and now we can just drag it on so if you can see that this one on the middle and these are just so we can do also one thing we can just press the cursor here select down the circle shift S selection to cursor then I can just bring it down here so up here and let me just scale it a bit more G Y Z sorry okay this looks good now tap into edit mode F fill E to extrude something like this we can also see if it is not that okay we basically want it inside this extrusion around here okay so we're done with this you know we can also do one thing just like this tab into edit mode as select and we can scale it a bit so we don't see that gap okay now we can start working on making these knobs so i'm just gonna scale it down a bit then i to extrude insert e to extrude make it round here and at that moment i'm just gonna add a sphere let me just scale it down make something like this go to up r x 90 so if it looks something like this we can just keep it up it around here okay and uh, let me just delete select these or we can do one thing just select this p selection now go to tab press tab go to edit mode select these and delete faces okay now this looks way more good in my opinion we can do also one thing just just like this and this we can just scale it down a bit so it can grab into it around here say this would look good so it's like this control J shade smooth like this and uh, for making this we're going to also let me add a loop cut here right here then select this something like this add generate 
subdivision surface modifier. Before that, we can also do one thing scale. Let me add a bevel modifier to here hard and normals. Then again, we're going to use the subdivision surface. It looks like clean. It can look more clean like this and we can now in this picture it's not clear that it does have some grooves just like this style but in my previous render I also made these grooves so I'm also going to do with the same same with this one so let me just subdivide it first and control X to solve 3 select I to insert and Alt E to extrude faces. I'm gonna keep it something like this. So, like this. Okay, so here we're done with this tile. Now we just need to place it one here and one here. Okay, so for that, I can do one thing that I'm just going to copy this Shift D to copy X and I'm gonna keep it somewhere right here and now, in order to make it evenly distribute, I'm gonna do one thing that I'm just gonna add an array modifier to it. And now, I'm just gonna try to match it somewhere around here. Wait. Okay, it's pretty close, and uh, we can just the number. Delete this one and uh, let me just give it another name. Uh, let me call it radio. So just don't cross. Save plan file and uh, now we have this part. So this is the basic uh, modeling that I'm doing right now. It's just a simple stuff. It's just all about the details that you add on your model. So that's what we're doing right now. Uh, we can also uh, make these right now. So let me just grab this cursor to select it and uh, let me add a cylinder now g minus one so it can snap to this space and let me just scale it down oh uh, till it gonna start make sense that uh, now this like there and i so this is the detail that I'm adding. If you want, you don't have to add this detail. Now we're done with this. So the final part we're going to, uh, the next step we're going to do is just to add this. This detail, if you can see where the speaker should be. And uh, this, uh, just like a net, no where to hold on to it. So I'm just gonna do one thing. I'm gonna select this and uh, let me quickly just select this edge and shift D X. And I will keep it somewhere around here. And if you can uh, check it, it just pretty this pretty much the same size so I'm gonna do one thing that uh, let me just separate the selection and uh, select this edge so we're gonna do one thing so we need to uh, cut this into grill shape so for that I'm going to just simply press K to enable the knife tool Okay, to enable. I don't know why it's not working. Okay, we don't want thing. Hmm. Let me just press F to fill this. Now we can just select 
uh, Z again K so it's should be somewhere around here this one Z again keep streamlining things I can move it around here so I just know that I'm not missing anything so it's just around 3 so it should be 3 this one press X then again going to leaving 3 and the fourth one 3 1 2 3 4 this one so X around here now while selecting these edges I'm just gonna press Ctrl B to bevel these so we can have a shape something like this okay. now we're gonna do one thing go to fit select mode and just extrude them inwards round here and for the rest of the thing we can just keep it something like this okay so this is how it's gonna look now we can remove this subdivision surface select your model again okay so if you can see that our shading is oh sorry the boolean has come back oh uh, you can we can do also one thing that uh, we can add a solidify modifier to it and uh, keep it above this so it can give some depth to a model but then again we need Now for giving a bit depth, we can do one thing that, let me just select this, and we can select this edge right here, or I say this face, just the face, and we can press E to extrude. Okay, so have we done with this today? We need to add this. So for this, we can do one thing that all we have to do just select this edge, Shift D, F, and B to select. Now, let me just keep it somewhere around. Then again, generate boolean just like this. Let me just delete this face. Something like this. So now we're done with this part, and uh, now we need to add this. So it should be simple. Let me just add object to geometry so to select it and let me add a plane or x90 this ship y press place it somewhere around here where it makes more sense to you so I'm gonna place it right here this and let me just like this edge X like this or E 
to extrude here I to insert before that just press ctrl a apply scale then press i to insert evenly insert and uh, e to extrude envelopes around here ctrl a scale add now you can add a bevel modifier to it hard and normals shape smooth like this something like this we have to make this so I'm gonna do one thing that I'm just simply gonna shift D X and Z around here let me just scale it up peak but like shift now we're going to just extrude it all around here and leave it like that okay so we're done with this detail as well and now we have to add the text hi-fi sound so it's like this just select it i'm going to add text rx 90 and let me just scale it down so here you can see check the properties of that text center uh, middle so you can have it around here let me scale it a bit if you're going to uh, press tab then you can just add it to the text hi why wait hi fi now if you going to click on this font icon and press this here you can choose all the fonts so we uh, look at something like this so we want something that can match to this font so I don't know what exactly this font is but I uh, would definitely think uh, to add uh, a similar font to this so I might go with this one yeah that looks more like it now in geometry option right here you can just extrude it to give it depth like this or we can do one thing just let me just convert it to mesh e to extrude like this I fly and now we need sound so same we're going to add a text rx90 scale it down then again go to left center top line middle let me scale it now we need to sound and for the font click this I'd like to choose this one not this then it maybe this one will work yeah that might work so right click convert to mesh let me just scale it up something like this Here. let me just scroll okay here we have this okay so we're done with all the modeling now we can start working on the texture part okay let me just save it here and let's get right into shading okay so for the box I'm gonna do one thing I'm just gonna control shift I have also downloaded a texture that I will leave a link in description that you can use so just go to files append and uh, let me just get that for you Uh, 
find material what material I'm just going to add that word material over this object and if, as you can already see it looks really good but we can make it even good so oh this front part this doesn't look so good so I'm gonna do one thing that let me just like this first I'm just gonna use a cube projection so that will make something like this then it's like these and uh, go to UV editor and just are rotated by 90 degree so it can start looking something like this if you want you can just scale the texture I would like to make it something like this okay and the rest of the texture we can make uh, by using blender kit add-on so right now let let me just set it to material and let me search for cloth material so in cloth section this is the material that I use so let me select this on here okay and I'm gonna make some changes to it So as you can see this is not connected to the alpha value but we definitely want the alpha value let me just check it in so for alpha value we can do one thing that let me just get a color ramp this click right here control shift left click Flip the color ramp so the black part will be the alpha channel or uh, the transparent part and the white part will be visible part so find something that matches to your desire and we are going to make it a bit bigger something like this if we are going to add this into the alpha channel it should start working as a transparent transparent material so you might able to see something going on behind this so let me just try to scale, scale it more around five looks good as you can see it doesn't have any depth so that's why it looks something like this for that we can do one thing that let me just And let me just add another material new and we can make it black assign looks 
start looking something like this and now we can see something going on behind this okay so our next thing is to give these a texture of rubber search for rubber and uh, you can add whatever you want I would like to use this one so it has the rubber texture and we're going to use copper and gold material to this for this one and let me select this let me search for gold and I guess this is the one that I use yeah. this is the one that I used okay looks good okay so we're going to make a custom material for this one let me select this face uh, new assign we're gonna look something like this now let me add a gradient texture a color ramp and we can start working on it so this is going to be an emission zero okay let me turn this control shift D so we can see what's going on here and control T to add this uh, we can use object coordinate and I want it to be spherical and let me just decrease the size of it something like this should work okay now we need to change give it some colors uh, I'm going to give it brownish color and for this one I need yellow bright yellow to be precise and I'm gonna keep the white in the middle so it should look like that uh, it's coming from uh, a light source let me just add it to the emission shader color and emission strength I'm gonna keep it around 10 like this and the base color It's looking good now I'm gonna add that tile so for that I'm just gonna like this add a new control shift T sorry control T to add a uh, image that's so and uh, for that I have downloaded this one open image so as you can see we can't see anything right now because it's not mapped correctly so project view is blue now it looks good let me just scale it down a bit so it should look like this okay or maybe just we can leave it like this it's totally up to you now in order to make it transparent as you can see this image is not transparent right now in order to make it transparent we're gonna we're going to use a color ramp again uh, the same thing goes that the black part is going to as a transparent part and the white part will be visible so let me just shift right, right click so we need to flip the color ramp and let me get this lighting way up here till it starting looking like this I'm going to use this data as an alpha channel right now you can't see it it's because we need to go change it to alpha clip or alpha hash alpha clip should work now we can set it we can use ease or constant whatever works best Round here. 
and let me just remove this material from it and let me just search for a class material you can make your own class material if you want but as I'm using this add-on uh, totally depends if you're getting the right result that you want and uh, there's no should be used the pre-made objects or the material that going to make faster going to make a something like this if you want you can just add a simple material to it plant it but class to do I want it I don't think so I want it I think we can keep this one or let me just create new okay let's just go to base color saturation metallic good now we're going to search for a copper material in order to add here I'm going to add this copper material to this dial and for the grooves I'm just going to use a darker copper material like this this one here and Just add a hue saturation node, decrease the value like this, saturation up, value down, and we have this now. Same goes for these two. I'm going to apply this. We need to add the same here so gold material same goes for this one gold and uh, for this part i'm just gonna use the same material sign like something like this same goes for this one copper we need it in gold and also here we can use that old copper Okay, so here we're done with the shading part. Let me just now I'm going to add a camera which are on G R X ninety G Y camera view mode. Let me switch to cycles. Okay. Now, in order to control this whole radio, we can do one thing that we can add an empty object so we can move it wherever we want if you want to use uh, for the animation and anything like that we can just use a cube uh, shift is to do the division let me just scale it a bit B 
hit transform and we can and we can own how I will work so let me just get the shrink here around here and make it ready Start edit life. Add area light. Strength thousand. Going to give like five meters. Disk. going to just copy this alt r small x So we have done with the basic lighting and uh, let me just give it some material switch to shader editor here new In order to give it uh, atmosphere, we are going to do one thing that we are going to add a cube, scale it so it can cover our whole area. Now I am just going to add a new material, make it a principal volume material and uh, let me give it volume to volume. Let me give it this much. For the density I am going to use 0 0.02 like this and uh, let me just use a push and make it hard like this so 0 0.002 this
just increase the flow. The final part that is left right now is the thing is the depth of field. I'm just gonna focus there. Can add a value of zero point zero five. Zero point zero zero five. So add a SGRI to the scene to give it some ambience lighting. I would go with this one. So this is how you can make this cool looking radio and blog. Thank you for watching guys. You can just subscribe my channel for upcoming new videos. Thanks and awesome.